Hey what's up guys this is Sonip Sky and in this video I'm going to show you how to dual boot Arch Linux with OMRG and Windows 10 or 11 so let's get started so first of all you need to open your web browser and download the Arch Linux ISO file and after that you need to download Rufus to make a bootable USB of Arch Linux for dual booting OMRG ISO will not work because it will wipe the whole drive so if you want to dual boot on a single drive then you need to install Arch Linux minimal edition first and after that insert your pen drive which is at least of 8 GB and please make a backup of your pen drive first and after that go into your downloads directory and open Rufus now select the pen drive which select the Arch Linux ISO file which you just downloaded earlier and after that click on start and make a bootable USB since I have already done that I'm not going to do it again and after that close everything and then right click on your start menu and open disk management and after that right click on any partition and select shrink volume now give at least 40 GB of space for Arch Linux so for this video I'm going to give 60 GB now after that we need to reboot the system and boot from the Arch Linux installation media. Now while your computer is restarting press the F2 key or your motherboard BIOS menu key to go into the BIOS menu and disable the secure boot because Arch Linux needs secure boot disabled in order to boot. And after that save and exit the BIOS. After that press the boot menu key which is usually the F12 key or escape key or some key according to your motherboard to open the boot selection menu and select the USB option from that list to boot into the Arch Linux installation media Now it will take a while to load the Arch Linux installer. So finally we have put it into Arch Linux installation media. If you are connected to Ethernet you are already good to go but if you are using Wi-Fi you need to connect using the IWCTL command. So first let me increase the font size. Now to use Wi-Fi type the command IWCTL and hit enter. Now it will enter the IWCTL interface. Now type device list to see your Wi-Fi card name. As you can see mine is WLAN 0. Yours may be different so type accordingly. Now type station WLAN 0 get dash networks and it will list all the Wi-Fi available in your area. Now you need to note your Wi-Fi name and type station WLAN 0 connect and then your Wi-Fi name. In my case it is GLX and after that type your Wi-Fi password. Now after that type station WLAN 0 show to check if you are connected or not. So as you can see I am connected to Wi-Fi network so type quit to exit IWCTL. Now type lsblk to see your drives in your computer. Now you need to identify the drive where you created the free space. So in my case it is my 256 GB SSD and its name is NVMe0N1 so I am going to type cfdisk slash tape slash my SSD name. Now locate the free space and create a 1 GB free space for the EFI partition and the rest of free space as Linux root file system so I am going to create 1 GB and set the type as EFI system and I am going to use the rest of the free space as the Linux file system which is the default and after that select write and type YES So now if you type lsblk again you will see these two new partitions so in my case it is slash div slash nvme0n1p3 and 
p4 so type mkfs.fat-f32 slash dev slash your efi partition block number in my case it is slash dev slash nvme 0 and one p3 so it will format the efi partition as fat32 and after that type mkfs.ext4 and then your root partition block number so it will format the root partition as ext4 and after that we need to mount the root partition into slash mnt directory and efi partition into slash mnt slash boot so let's do that so type mount slash dev slash your root partition block number and type slash mnt now we need to create the boot directory inside mnt so type mkdir slash mnt slash boot and mount the efi partition there so we have done the re necessary requirements now let's install arch linux so first let's update the database so type pacman sy so it will synchronize the repositories first and after that let's install arch linux keyring so that we do not encounter any errors later so type pacman s arch linux keyring now you can install arch linux manually or use the arch install script so i'm going to use arch install script here so as you can see this is the arch linux script interface so go into the disk configuration and choose partitioning and choose the pre-mounted configuration and for the root directory type slash mnt which we mounted earlier so select that and go back now go to the bootloader section and choose the grub bootloader because we are dual booting and after that go to authorization and set your desired root password and after that uh, create your user account with your desired username and password and make sure that this user is sudo and after that select profile and choose the minimal profile and after that go to the network configuration and choose use network manager and after that click on install you can leave the rest of settings as it is so we can just proceed with the installation now now this will take a while so i'm going to fast forward this part for now So finally the installation is complete now choose the reboot system option and while your computer is restarting go to the BIOS menu again and this time go to the boot section and change the boot priority so that the Arch Linux has the highest boot priority. So your name may be UEFIOS Arch Linux or something like that so just choose the option and save and exit now the laptop or computer will boot into arch linux by default now as you can see this is the crop menu but we don't have a windows option in here so we're going to fix that later so first we're going to install omrg so to install omrg first login into your arch system after that let me just increase the font size first now type nmtui to enable Wi-Fi so if you have Ethernet connection you are already good to go but if you are using Wi-Fi you need to connect to internet using Wi-Fi first now after that you need to 
type this command sudo pacman s git curl nano so we are installing these tools first in order to avoid any problems later now to install omrg type this command curl dash small f small s and then capital s and then capital l and https colon two forward slash omrg dot org forward slash install and then pipe symbol which is the straight line symbol and then space and bash so it will install the omrg from the official repo now the installation will take a while so I'm going to fast forward this part so finally the installation is complete now click on reboot now and it will reboot the computer and it will boot into the Arch Linux with OMRG So as you can see we have booted into OMRG. Now first we need to open a terminal so you can press Windows key plus enter to open a terminal and then type NMTUI to open the network selection and connect to Wi-Fi if you are not already connected. Now after that we need to edit the grub file and make sure to detect windows so type sudo nano slash etc slash default slash grub now scroll down and find the line which says grub underscore disable underscore os proper equals to false uncomment the line by removing the hash and save and exit using control o and control x now type sudo grub dash mk config dash o slash boot slash grub slash grub dot cfg and it will regenerate the grub config file and if you don't see windows option here then we need to install os proper as well so type sudo pacman dash s os dash proper and after that type sudo os dash proper and it will list a windows entry there so after that regenerate the grub config again using previous command now you can reboot and now while your computer is starting it will show your grub menu and we will now have a windows option in that grub menu so as you can see let's try to boot into windows to check if it is working or not So as you can see we are also able to boot into windows so that's it for the video guys thank you for watching.